everyone. Today we will talk about topic one, matter. Topic one contains four different subtopics. But today in this video, we will only talk about 1.1 definition and classification, where we will define matter and classify matter into a few categories. This is basically the summary of what we are going to learn today. Matter. What is actually matter? Matter is anything that occupies space and has mass. Even a chair is a matter. In chemistry, matter can be classified into two categories, pure substance and mixtures. Pure substance is when all the atoms or molecules are of the same kind, means they must be the same. And pure substance must have a fixed composition and a unique set of property. They are going to have the same kind, fixed composition, and the same set of unique properties. And pure substance can be classified into element and compound. So let's look into element. Element. It's a pure substance that consists of only one type of atom. The keyword over here is one type of atom. Element cannot be broken down into any simpler substance. In the other words, element are the simplest substance. Element can be in the form of atoms or molecule. Example of atoms are like sodium, neon, argon. All these are atoms. Molecule could be like oxygen gas, nitrogen gas, chlorine gas. How about carbon dioxide? Carbon dioxide is a molecule, as we know. But is carbon dioxide is an element? What do you think? Element must only have one type of atom. But in carbon dioxide, we have two types of atom. We have one carbon atom. We have two oxygen atom. So we have two types of atom. So is carbon dioxide still an element? No, carbon dioxide is not an element. The simplest way to identify whether it's an element or not is by looking into periodic table. Every single boxes in the periodic table represent an element, whether the element in the form of atoms or in the form of molecules. Compound. What is compound? Compound is a pure substance that contains two or more types of atoms of the element that are chemically bonded together in a fixed proportion. And we have two types of compound in the form of ion or in the form of molecule. Go back to the carbon dioxide just now. Carbon dioxide is a compound. Alright, carbon dioxide is a compound. Why? Because we have two types of atom, one carbon and two oxygen atom. Another example of molecule compound is water. Water consists of two hydrogen atom and one oxygen atom. So we have two types of atom. Ion, for example, you have sodium chloride. In the sodium chloride, we have an A and we have Cl. And the ratio must be correct. Therefore, they must be in the fixed proportion. Mixtures. Mixtures are two or more pure substance physically combined in such way each retain chemical identity. All the molecules are not of the same kind. We can have two types of mixtures, homogeneous and heterogeneous. What is homogeneous? Homogeneous is a mixture that have no visible boundary among its components. A homogeneous mixture must have a uniform mixture. Composition is the same. A very simple example that I can give to you is the gases in our surrounding. We have oxygen gas. We have nitrogen gas. We have carbon dioxide gas. We have so on. A lot more. But all of them are in the form of gases. Therefore, they have no visible boundary among its components. Heterogeneous. Heterogeneous is a mixture that have one or more visible boundary among its component. Therefore, heterogeneous mixture 
must be not uniform mixture and the composition will vary. I'll give you a very simple example over here. I have a beaker. Inside the beaker, I have the presence of H2O in the form of liquid. I boil them. What happens when you boil H2O liquid? So it's like get boiling and you have vapor produced and the vapor is actually H2O gas. Therefore, you have the presence of gas and liquid where you have two visible boundary among its components. That's it for today. I'll see you again in the next video for subtopic 1.2.